Hey, what's up guys? It's Sully here. Welcome back to another Story Saturday. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful time with me being out of your hair for once. However, I'm still making videos, but they're all on scheduled upload just so I can keep bothering you all. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to another Story Saturday. This is Camp Stories Part 2. I'm currently at camp, so this is just perfect timing, right? Okay, so this was during my second year on crew, which is a five-week program at my good old camp, Eagle Lake Camp. That's where I am currently right now as of this very moment. Now, it was a very cold night, and we sleep in tents, so it's even worse. So, you know, I was getting ready for bed as usual, and it only been a week or so into the five-week program. But fortunately for me, I was bunked with a dude that I was, like, really good friends with. So I was on the bottom bunk, and he was on the top bunk. Anyway, so it was a very, very cold night, and, you know, up in the Rocky Mountains, up 10,000 feet or so, it gets a little bit chilly. So anyway, I had, like, a long sleeve pajama shirt, pants, and a beanie or so. And I was asleep, and all of a sudden, I just woke up vigorously shaking and shivering. And I had no idea what was happening, but it was so terrible. You know, and I tried to fall back to sleep, but it was just so bad. So meanwhile, my tent of about 10 to 12 guys are all sleeping. And I'm shaking so much that the entire bunk is just shaking. So my bunk mate above me finally wakes up, and he's like, Dude, what's going on? Are you alright? Dude, just, are you dying? And obviously I wasn't dying, but uh, my bunkmate woke up and I was literally just shaking the entire bunk. So he was asking if it was all right, and my counselor then woke up, and they both took me to the infirmary. And I actually did spend the night there. And it turns out I was probably like extremely dehydrated or just really overheating, because you know heat ex like escapes from your head. So if you have like a beanie on, heat's not going to escape, and it's just going to overheat you. And so it turns out that I was like really dehydrated. So I looked online to see, you know, what I had and it said I have malaria. So, you know, that's all good. Now, the next story, guys, is when I was actually a normal, regular camper. So normal campers go to camp for only one week. However, my camp program goes there for five weeks. So we are volunteers, you know, we work. So anyway, a tradition at this camp for the younger kids or the normal campers is that we all have pine cone wars. So we're surrounded by pine trees and, you know, we're up in the Rocky Mountains. So that's like the, the tree of choice. And so we always have pine cone wars. So for the entire week, cabins and rival teams would stock up on pine cones under their cabins or make like make caches everywhere. And yes, rival teams. There were two teams versus each other during the week. So, for example, there would be there would be like 70 kids at camp, or almost 120 kids at camp. So, 60 kids would be on one team, and 60 kids would be on the other team. And the entire week, they're competing to get the ultimate championship at the end of the week. So, they earn points and stuff. You know, they do all this stuff to try to earn points so that their team will win at the end of the week. So, my cabin and I allied with about four other cabins, and we were trying to take over one cabin. And it was on the high ground, so it was going to be rough. So after about 500 to 600 pine cones later, the week has finally ended. So we are leaving the next day, and we needed to strike. So that's exactly what we did. We had a few guys go into their cabin and stuff their sleeping bags and pillowcases full of pine cones, and then we hid, and we waited. We then ambushed them and pelted them with pine cone after pine cone. This lasted about 10 minutes, until everyone was lying dead on the ground. Not really, because it's pine cones. But it all died down, and I kind of think we won. And they had a great time of, you know, trying to get all those pinecones out in the dark out of their cabin. So I do say it was a pinecone war well fought. <clears throat> now, guys, this is the final story. And this actually did occur at another camp that I went to. This was not the same camp. So it was a second grade camp, and it only lasted three days. So during free time, you know, I was like, I gotta get something. I gotta go and kayak. So kayaks are just like little boats and you just paddle by yourself in one little boat. And so they had a little pond and I'm like, okay, this is my time. I'm gonna go and kayak. So I've been looking forward to this all day and finally other activities had ended and it was time. I took out the kayak from the shed. I put it in the water and I hopped in. And I paddled around for quite some time. So then finally some of the people were like joining me and counselors came and joined. And one game that we played was kayak tag. So essentially one person would be it and then you had to bump the other people with your kayak to get them it. So one of the girl counselors was like it and she started chasing after me and finally my worst fear had turned. She cornered me and bumped me. 
So I'm like, uh, uh, I ain't going to let you get that. And so as soon as she tagged me it, I was like, all right, I'm going to go after her. So I put my paddle so deep into the water. And as soon as I did that, the worst thing happened. I flipped. So I was like trying so hard to go after her and I just flipped my kayak. So here I was, I was soaked in the water and I had a flipped kayak and she was just laughing away and kayaking and paddling away. And so I swam back to the dock in utter defeat. And it was a sad day because I was then soaked for a majority of the day and that just sucks a whole lot. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this Story Saturday. If you enjoyed, leave a like, guys. If you guys don't know, I do have a like goal set in the description for every video. So if we meet that, I will try to make other parts of these videos. But without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.